Well, it was an anniversary that many were hoping would not arrive. Yeah, but tonight when it did, members of the Filipino community marched to the Shambly home of Cecilia Bustamante. You may recall she disappeared five months ago this day. And with no new leads, the group has decided to take matters into its own hands. Well, Fox News' George Franco joins us now from the Shambly Police Department with more on the story. George? Well, Ross and Sine, many in the Filipino community tonight told me that they went to the home of Cecilia Bustamante here in Chambly because they didn't know where else to go. She disappeared five months ago today and is still missing. Prayer of intentions, all. They arrived on foot carrying candles and praying for the safe return of Cecilia Bustamante at a vigil in front of her Shambly home. These members of the Filipino community tell me no one here personally knew the 42-year-old missing woman. But as a Filipina, we call it kababayan. We need to reach out because who else is going to help her but us? Shambly police say Bustamante was last seen October 28th of last year, frantically leaving her job at the Willie's restaurant in this mid town building. Making matters worse, police say she was reported missing by a friend when she didn't arrive for a Thanksgiving celebration weeks after her disappearance. Some of the evidences were not there anymore, but they're, they're following up several leads that hopefully might lead to something else. The Filipino American Association is working closely with Shambly police and a newly hired private investigator to try to find Mrs. Bustamante. That investigator tells me the smallest detail could make a big difference in the search for this missing woman. Someone seen something and that person, memory needs to be jogged, something needs to happen for them to come together as a community. And Chambly police tell me that Mrs. Bustamante shared that home with her husband and seven-year-old son. They were not home when the prayer vigil was occurring. I reached out to the husband through his attorney who told me no comment. Reporting live tonight in Chambly, I'm George Franco, Fox 5 News. All right, George, thank you.